My books are science-driven thrillers, but you have to keep the science brief. You have to keep it jargon-free. You can't use all that special terminology we do amongst ourselves as scientists. And you have to keep it entertaining, which is not uh, a prerequisite for a textbook. I started out as a scientist, and I think being a scientist makes me a better writer, a better artist, but I think being an artist also makes me a better scientist. There are things now that I observe and take note of that I wouldn't have previously because now I'm thinking about, well, what does the sound of a fly buzzing in an autopsy room really sound like? Because I might be putting that into the fiction. What I do when I work for the medical examiner or a coroner or the military or law enforcement or disaster recovery team is I work on victims that are otherwise unidentifiable by normal means. Because the body is burned or mutilated or mummified or decomposed or dismembered or maybe just bones. The commonality of everything I do comes down to the bones. What details can I d derive from the bones? My career path has been varied and I enjoy that. I enjoy having my foot in more than one world.